Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Hello everyone, this is Lakshmi Priya S from CSC department, Assistant Professor, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Today we are going to discuss a topic called Booth's algorithm, multiplication algorithm which comes under a topic or subject computer architecture. We are going to discuss a topic called Booth's multiplication algorithm. So this Booth's multiplication algorithm was invented by Booth's in the uh, while doing a research on uh, crystallography at Brickbeck College. So this is the main thing where that particular algorithm had been originated by a name called Andrew Donald Booth in 1950. And how this algorithm has been calculated? It is based on your unsigned and signed two's complement or a two's uh, complement integers. So based on this only this algorithm has been originated. Now for doing this a block diagram has been developed. This block diagram is nothing but two things one is PR register another one is QR register. So BR register is nothing but where it will store your multiplier and QR register is nothing but where it is going to store your multiplier. So taking these two registers along with adding your AC register and your sequence counter value algorithm has been calculated. So this is going to store your multiplier and that is going to store your multiplier and last bit of your multiplier register with Q and plus one you will calculate the values that is based on that values you will perform the arithmetic shift operation and this is sequence counter is nothing but how many bits you have in your AR and QR register that is going to be your sequence counter and that based on that many bits your sequence counter will be assigned as 4 if it is of a 4 bits and if it is going to be assigned as 5 if it is of a 5 bits. AC register is nothing but initially assigned to 0 based on the number of bits that is there in your QR and a BR register. Based on these all values or registers your multiplication algorithm will be calculated. Then for unsigned, so I have already mentioned one is unsigned integer and another one is a signed integer. So if it is an unsigned integer, how the multiplication will be done is first to take two register, one is a QR register and another one is your PR register. So if you have a multiplier and a multiplant, just store those two register in your QR as well as your BR register. So for example, if you take 3 and your 9 and if you are going to multiply 3 and 9, one is nothing but your 3 which is going to be stored in your multiplier and another one is your 9 that is you are going to store in your multiplier. So third register is nothing but your AC register. So you are going to assign your zeros in your AC register that is assigned there. And finally, a carry bit will be stored if there is suppose any carry after multiplying those two things. So for this, we are going to take one bit register called QN plus 1 which is going to be your final value that is there. So if it is an unsigned number, what you are going to do is the multiple BR register is added to your QR. So this entire thing is given in one normal flowchart where the process will be followed. Initially a BR register, I mean or a BR a multiple is added to your QR and the result is stored in your register AC that is there. Then finally all the values of AC, BR, QN minus 1 will be shifted one bit right. That is arithmetic shift right operation will be done and after that based on the values of Qn plus 1 I mean Qn minus 1 and Qn the values of this will be calculated. So if it is 0 and 0 the no arithmetic operation will be done. If it is 0 and 1 the corresponding values will be done. So based on each and every 1 0 1 1 the values will be calculated accordingly. So if it is a for signed number just convert into 2's complement. How to convert into a 2's complement? Just if you have a minus 4 just take binary of that minus 4. So binary of minus 4 is nothing but 1 1 0 0. So that is your binary of your actual 4 and then convert to your 1's complement which is going to be 0 0 1 1 add 1 to that value the corresponding value will be this one. So this is your 2's complement for your minus 4. Why this is actually minus 4 is nothing but 4 value is 0 1 0 0. Since it is minus I am giving 1 plus here mean 1 value will be added here. So 1 1 0 will be done here. So after that this is your binary value and taking 1's complement is nothing but converting your zeros to 1 and 1's to zeros. that is your 1's complement here and 2's complement is nothing but adding 1 to the one's complement there. So 1 plus 1 it's nothing but your 0 where carry will be added here again 1 plus 1 it is 0 and carry will be added there and finally that one will be added there 1 and 0. So that is how it is done and how to do a binary addition for doing a binary addition so if it is 1 plus 0 it is going to be 1 and if it is going to be 1 and 1 it is going to be 0 
with a carry 1. So that is what it is calculated. And again 0 plus 1 it is 1, 0 and 0 it is going to be 0. So this is how addition will be done. For example, one small thing I have given here that is 1, 0. So adding these two it is going to give 1 and 1 and 1 adding these two it is going to be 0 and a carry will be added there. Again carry 1 plus 1 that particular thing will be added here. So 1 and 1, 0 will be coming here and again carry 1 will be gone there and again 1 and 1 this will be coming here carry 1. So if you go on doing like that this is going to be your final value and final 1 carry will be left it over here. So drop that leftmost carry that is there here. So this is how binary addition will be done. Similarly for doing a subtraction 1 minus 0 it is going to be 1 and 1 minus 1 is 0. So anything that is minus by 0 is going to be your same value and if support it is of an opposite like 0 minus 1 the value will be 1 along with the carry 1 and 0 minus 0 the value is 0. So this is how uh, subtraction has been done. For this example we are going to take this 5 digit which is going to be 5 zeros and then 3 zeros 1 and 0. So if I am going to subtract these two values 0 minus 0 it is going to be a 0 and then 0 minus 1 if you take this value that is 1 with a carry 1. So 1 will be here and taken over carry here. So 1 minus 0 take this case it is going to be 1. So again 1 will be here. Again it is going to take a carry and similarly the values will be calculated. So final values will be 4 1s and 0 with the carry 1. So drop it over the carry whatever it is there. So this is how subtraction will be done and last slide whatever we have seen that is for addition. So this is for addition and subtraction of binary values that is there. Now for Booth's multiplication how exactly the multiplication will be done is based on this block diagram or a flowchart. So we are going to initially start with multiplying two registers or two values. So start with the multiply and then what we are going to do is two values one will be stored in your multiplane and another one will be stored in your multiplane. So BR is nothing but one register where it stores the multiplane value and QR is another register where it stores the multiplier value. Now what we are going to do is take three more values. One is AC register which I have already told initially zeros will be assigned there and another one is QN plus 1 that is your last bit of your QR register. So whatever it is there that is going to be assigned to your zero here. Then SC is nothing but your sequence counter that is nothing but how many number of digits that is there in your QR and BR register. So that is what end value that is stored here. Now after calculating all these things we are going to start with multiplying. So what we are going to do is this is a condition box where we are going to check the values of QN and QN plus 1. So QN is last bit of your QR register, QN plus 1 is initially assigned to 0. So comparing these two values, whatever value, so either it is going to be 0 or 1. So if it is 0, 0 or 1, 1 directly perform this arithmetic shift right operation of your AC and QR register and then decrement your uh, sequence counter. So this is if your value of QN and QN plus 1 is 0, 0 and 1, 1. And if your value of QN and QN plus 1 is 1 and 0, that is 1 for your QN and 0 for QN plus 1, then perform this value that is nothing but AC is going to add it with BR bar plus 1. BR bar is nothing but your complement of your BR register plus adding your 1 to that and then add your AC value to that that is going to assign to your AC register. So if you have a value of 1 0 perform this and if your value is 0 1 perform this that is adding just AC plus BR register. So that will be stored in your AC register. After performing these two finally again put it into here where you are going to perform arithmetic shift right of your QR as well as AC register and finally decrement your sequence counter. Fine. After decrementing your sequence counter, check your sequence counter value. So until you are getting a sequence counter value is 0, you are going to perform this entire operation again and again. And if your sequence counter value is 0, end your operation there itself. So this is how Booth's multiplication algorithm will be done. So we will take with one example before that what is arithmetic shift operation we will just see it. So arithmetic shift is nothing but if you have a value of any one register as this one. So after performing your arithmetic shift operation first bit of your MSB will be your first bit and again first bit will be your second bit of your another after performing your arithmetic right operation and then performing one one bit to your right side that is shift one bit to your right side that will give you a final thing. and whatever is there in your LSB that will be your last bit but you need to discard it because if it is of a 5 bit register here same 5 bit should be your output here so after performing one one bit right side 
discard your last bit that is there okay so this is how arithmetic shift operation will be done so we'll take one example for this boots multiplication algorithm one is ac as well as another one is qr and br so ac we are assigning to zero value so why we are assigning because it is given in the flowchart initially that is going to assign to zero so how many zeros it is number of bits that is equal to qr and br register we are taking two numbers qr is nothing but your three and br is nothing but your seven so multiplying those two three and seven your value will is going to be 21 so final value should be your 21 that is what we are gained today so qr is 3 so 3 is nothing but convert into a binary values that is 0 0 1 1 and br is nothing but your 7 so convert into your binary that is 0 triple 1 so after multiplying this one your 21 should be a binary value of your 21 should be triple 0 1 0 1 0 1 so that is what we are going to calculate after performing your boots multiplication algorithm now first value is qr so let it be as it is that is going to be 3 and next one is your br so br is nothing but your 7 now what we are going to do is for br we are going to calculate 2's complement so for calculating 2's complement convert into 1's complement add 1 to it so for 1's complement so zeros will be converted to 1 and 1 is going to convert into 0 so that is what br bar here and then for 2's complement add plus 1 to it so that is going to be this value so now after calculating this one we can directly proceed into what we are going to find for boots multiplication algorithm so ac is going to be four zeros so initially it is going to assign zero value based on the number of bits that is there and qr is whatever it is given in the question that is three so that is as well as that is also going to be zero zero one one and qn plus one is going to be zero that was initially assigned to zero and sc is nothing but your sequence counter so what is sequence counter it is number of bits that is equal to your qr and br register so we have four bits here so it is assigned to four there so this four needs to be converted to zero until that we need to perform this entire operation that is there now last bit of your qr register and qn plus one value is going to be taken so that based on those two values you are going to perform the operation that is there so in the first step it is going to be 1 in qr register and 0 in qn plus 1 so 1 and 0 put it here so this is going to be 1 and 0 so for 1 and 0 in the flow chart it is given us it is going to add your ac value with 2's complement of your br so ac is nothing but your 4 0 and 2's complement is nothing but 1 0 0 1 so adding these two value will give you 1001 here so after performing this value you need to this qr register value will be there as it is that is 0011 and that qn plus 1 will be there same as 0 and se will be same as 4 and after performing this perform your arithmetic shift right that is first bit will be there as it is and again first bit will be shifted to your second bit and every other bit will be moved to one one bit right side so that is what shift arithmetic uh, right operation Okay. so this is performed here after performing this one decrement your sequence counter initially 4 will be there so after decrementing one value it will be 3 now again calculate qr last bit and qn plus one bit that is going to be 1 1 so if it is 1 1 no need to perform any operation directly you can perform arithmetic shift operation and decrement one value that is there so after performing your arithmetic shift right operation it is going to be this value and then decrementing your SE, it is going to be 2 there. Now I can check your last bit of your QR and QN plus 1, that is 0 and 1. If it is 0 and 1, just add your AC with BR register that is there. It is not second, I mean 2's complement, it is just BR, uh, adding along BR register. So AC plus BR, so this is your current AC, adding with your BR that is 0, triple 1. So adding these two, it is going to give you this value and the remaining value will be there as it is now again check your q qr bit of last bit as well as your qn plus one it is going to be zero zero if it is zero zero no need to perform any operation directly shift right operation then decrement your sequence counter so performing your shift right operation one one and decrement your final value it is going to be zero so after getting your zero as your sequence counter stop your operation and whatever is there in your ac and qr register that is going to be your final value so this is AC and that is QR. Con combining those two values, you will be getting a value as 21. So that is what multiplying 3 and 7, you will get a value as 21. This is how Boots multiplication algorithm will be done. Thank you.